Morning, President Muhammad Buraisa. With the situation of things in Nigeria today, you cannot be fine. Having said that, my name is Martin Aliche, Deputy Superintendent of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. And I happened by the grace of God to be the officer who encountered God on top of that astral rock overlooking the nation's seat of power there in Abuja. Where I received a message from him and a divine mandate to speak to the leaders of Nigeria. Do you want peace, unity, security, and prosperity? And of course, the continued existence of Nigeria as one country. Then listen to me, sir. Because what you will hear from me, you cannot hear from anyone else. By the special grace of God, I have the keys, the secret to all these things I've mentioned. Peace, unity, security, and prosperity, the continued existence of Nigeria, given to me by the Almighty God on top of that Asurok. No one else can say that and prove it in practical terms. In 2015 and 2016, I tried to help your administration. I wrote to you and to your vice several times, warning that God has said that he will scatter Nigeria. Should you continue to disobey the standing order he gave Nigeria on top of that Asurok? But you ignored others' warnings. And today, Nigeria is scattering before your eyes, under your watch. Or is it not, sir? At the same time, 2015 and 2016, I wrote to the religious leaders of Nigeria. I told them not to waste their time praying for peace, security, prosperity, or unity for Nigeria. I told them not to waste their time prophesying those things because God was not going to answer. For the fact that the government of Nigeria has refused to obey the standing order God gave Nigeria on top of that Asurok. They ignored my words. So I decided to fold my hands and watch them and their religious grandstanding and fake prophecies for Nigeria to see how far it will take them. And here they are. Poverty, recession, inflation, killings, kidnappings, ritual killings, rampant death. What evil has not come upon this country, Nigeria? It is a plague. It is a plague. And I made mention of it, I warned about it in my writings and my video messages in 2015 and 2016. Nobody listened. I sincerely commend the efforts of our religious people who are praying for the country. The Nigerian citizens themselves who are going through this, our security men and women, but the truth is, what is happening in Nigeria today is beyond the ordinary. It is beyond the usual uh, cultural and ideological conflict. It is a plague. Your government is under God's curse for disobeying the standing order God gave Nigeria on top of that Asurok. And I warned about it. Before it all started, kindly take a look at two, these two prophetic messages I delivered to the Nigeria government in 2015, which nobody regarded. But they have become present day reality in Nigeria today, sadly. The prophetic warning that was ignored, an extract from my Facebook post 2015. This land shall no longer be called Nigeria, but no-go area. It 
it shall be an example of a 21st century land of trouble and anguish, and her citizens shall languish in exile. As for me, the mercies of God and his covenant upon my life shall be my comfort. The grace of God is still available, waiting for your complete obedience, or this country will begin to feel the fiery wrath of God upon male and female, rich and poor. I speak by my divine mandate over this nation, Nigeria. We need to understand that the spiritual controls the physical and that the Almighty God rules the supreme. Thank God for the sun that has just risen. It is a cold morning up here on the mountain. And I have been here praying. Not for myself, because I know God has already answered all my prayers. Not for Nigeria either. Because I know God will not answer any prayers for peace, unity, security, and prosperity for Nigeria. Rather, I've been here praying that God might grant you, President Muhammad Buhari, the grace to hear his voice, listen to his word, and obey, so that it might be well with you and people of this country, Nigeria. Uh, you might be wondering what a security personnel is doing on the mountain. Yes. You can't encounter God the way I did on top of that Asurok and receive the divine mandate I received up there and remain the same, whoever you might be. I believe your vice, Professor, Pastor, Yemi Osinbajo, will understand what it means for God to summon a man to a mountain, to the top of that Asurok of all places. And to speak to that man, giving him a mandate to speak to the leaders of Nigeria or any nation for that matter. Perhaps he should explain these things to you better. This very video you are watching now is an introductory clip to the main video which I was supposed to have published some months back. But I refused to publish it. Not until I came back from the dead. Yes, not until I had come back from the dead. Following a brutal, bloody, machete attack by some machete wedding gang who attacked me on the mountain where I went praying, asking God perhaps to send another person to you or to give me some time to deliver that message, such a message to you and your government. And it is a message that you, together with the, the uh, uh, religious and political leadership of Nigeria, need to see. And your response to it will either make or break Nigeria. It, that video message is titled order from above president muhammad buhari obey now or prepare for the worst in nigeria i have made sacrifices trying to save this country sir make sure you heed my counsel and obey the voice of god so that it might be well with you and this country, Nigeria. Otherwise, otherwise, God will scatter this country in pieces according to his word. And God will take Nigeria from you overnight. If you knew the Spirit speaking to you, you will hasten to obey his voice. God is not a man that he would lie, neither will he fail to perform his words. President Muhammad Buhari of Nigeria, I am here in the name of the Almighty God. What you are about to hear is the mystery behind the current plague of socio-economic trauma 
in Nigeria and the imminent total destruction of this country, Nigeria. My name is Martin Aliche, Deputy Superintendent of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. I am the one who encountered God on top of that asteroid overlooking Nigeria's seat of power in Abuja. The Council of Heaven has pronounced judgment against you, and Nigeria shall scatter. The mouth of God has spoken it. No prophet or power shall alter it. Because you have broken God's covenant for the peace, unity, and prosperity with Nigeria. By taking it upon yourself to meddle in the dispute between Israel and Arabs in defiance of God's warnings. Was good of Jonathan, the predecessor, foolish to have obeyed this voice of God concerning this matter? Now, therefore, prepare. As Almighty God, who spoke to me concerning this matter on top that asshole of leaves, this current wave and plague of social economic trauma shall be followed by the plague of geopolitical effort in Nigeria. And the whole world shall know that the Lord God of Israel rules supreme in the affairs of men, kingdoms, and nations. Even that have ears, hear what the Spirit is saying. With due respect, President Muhammad Buarissa, going by the mysteries revealed to me on top of that Asurok, with regard to what is happening in Nigeria today, I can no longer keep silent in the name of ethics of my profession as a security personnel. While innocent Nigerians are suffering and perishing every day under these plagues. So may I crave your indulgence to speak to you, not as an officer of the Federal Republic, but as a messenger of God, his watchman to this nation, which I became by the grace of divine mandate. On that note, sir, please permit me to humbly introduce myself to you. My name is Martin Aliche, Deputy Superintendent of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, serving in Lagos. I am, by special grace, the officer who encountered God on top of that asteroid overlooking Nigeria's seat of power there in Abuja. Where, after three days and nights alone up there, God Almighty spoke to me clearly and established a covenant of peace, unity, security and prosperity with Nigeria and God constituted this covenant on one condition on a standing order that Nigeria must not stand against Israel otherwise he will scatter Nigeria after which he commanded me to go down from that rock to speak and warn the leaders of Nigeria Thank you for listening, sir. You might decide to order my sack, but please make sure you heed my counsel and obey the voice of God so that it might be well with you and the people of this country, Nigeria.